All right, Mike here on Guns, Cars, and Digits. Uh, we're gonna do some uh, roller chain uh, sprocket design. So if you want to make a custom sprocket, this is the math that you need. Um, the radius of the sprocket is like the most useful one, and what it is is the distance from the center of the sprocket to the center of the little hole on the side of the sprocket where the chain goes. Um, and that radius is here. It's the chain pitch divided by two times the sign of pi over the number of teeth that you want to have on the sprocket. Uh, the pitch is the distance from the center of this pin to this one. And uh, that will get you 90% of the way. The minor radius here is the next thing. And what that is is it's like taking this chain link and sticking it on the sprocket and you hold one link on the sprocket and one part of the link on the sprocket and you get the other side and you spin it all the way around and the inner edge of the roller or the bushing uh, will go around this path and if you take it off and you put it over here Actually, no. If you leave it here and you spin it that way, it will make the other side of the of the link. Or, I'm sorry, the other side of the chain tooth. That's called your tooth profile. And the shape of the tooth profile depends on the kind of chain you're using and the, uh, the pin or roller diameter. If you have bushing chain, which is just a normal chain that doesn't have the little roller in the middle, they tend to have just a little pin and they, they look like this. They have real big teeth that stick out and then tiny little holes in there for the chain goes. And they say that those are less likely to skip. Okay, that's whatever. Um, then they also have stuff like 530 chain that has a fat roller. So if you draw the diameter of the roller, it's like it's like I did here with in blue. This radius is bigger than that dotted line. So if you complete this, this drawing for whatever kind of chain you're using, um, and then you try and draw the useful radius around it, in other words, you take a big circle and you draw it on top of this, that's of this radius, that it will not fit correctly. <laughs> I'm sorry. It will appear too big and that that means that your sprocket will look like motorcycle sprockets where the tips of the teeth don't stick out past the chain that's all it means um, if you do have chain with small rollers on it like bicycle chain you'll have a you'll have a drawing that looks like this where you have your useful radius drawn here and your effective radius here and when you drop, when you complete your your minor radius sketches, the tips of the teeth will stick will stick out past the useful radius, and you can just cut those off, and you'll end up with drawings that look just like bicycle chain. Um, if you want to try making bicycle chain and you want to sit there and draw these things, you can do that. Um, and so the pitch for bike chain is a half inch, the roller is 5 16 the thickness for most bike chain for like BMX bikes and stuff is an eighth inch or less. You can make them a little thinner, like a hair, so that they fit right. Um, also, you know how you go to the store and you look at the bike chain and the teeth aren't square, they're kind of bladed here. It's like the, the, thick, the thick part of the sprocket is always close to the roller because that's where the load is. Um, I'm talking about how some of these sprockets at the store, they look kind of like saw blades or whatever. Instead of them being square, they're, they're beveled into the board. And that's what that is is so that when you have the chain on here, 
and you have the chain kind of crooked, it's a small peg in a wide hole situation, so it lets it fit onto the sprocket correctly. Uh, if you want to 3D print your own sprockets, you can. But if you're going to do a bike sprocket, I have one solid piece of advice for you. Have a, th a piece of steel cut with the bolt pattern of your crank set. Have that made. It's because the bolts that hold your sprocket onto the crank set are going to see a lot of force and they're going to break the center of the sprocket. Also, that poor plastic's probably never signed up for this kind of work. Uh, so you, if you 3D print a sprocket and use it on a bicycle, it may not hold up very long. But if you um, if you have a smaller project that you could use bicycle chain on, this would this will get you where you need to go. Uh, thanks for watching.